Hey, I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins, and if you're sitting at a desk all day, chances are you are going to start having some pain, so we're going to give you some solutions today. Today we're going to be talking about exercises at your desk to help relieve neck pain because the longer you do any activities with your arms out in front of you, we start getting upper back, neck pain, stiffness, tightness, and all that starts to create pain and problems in the body. And then if you're in a position where your head just goes farther and farther and farther forward, that places more weight on the structures of the neck. And they're really only supposed to hold up your 10 pound head. So if your head goes way too far forward, it literally can put 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds of pressure on your spine when it really should just be 10. So let's talk about some things to do to relieve some of that pressure. One of the first things we're gonna talk about are locking your shoulders. If you perform, and we talk about this a lot, many of our videos talk about that locking the shoulders position, because if all we did was bring the shoulder blades back a little, drop them down some, that will help to relieve a lot of the pressure um, that we're experiencing. It puts the shoulder in a locked position. It's very strong in that position. It's not putting pressure on things it's not supposed to. We like that locked shoulder position. The next exercise we're going to talk about is simply shrugging the shoulders. And so what I'd like for you to do, instead of a simple shoulder shrug where the shoulders are going up and down, you certainly can do that. The next step with that though is to bring the shoulder blades forward and shrug up and then back. Shoulders forward, shrug up and then back. The next exercise we're going to talk about is lateral flexion. All you do for this exercise is you take your hand, you bring it over your head, and you pull to the side. Now, the arm that's not doing anything, sit on that arm, and what that actually will do is help you to get more stretch. You hold that position for five to 10 seconds, repeat that 10 times, and of course, we're gonna do both sides. The next exercise is rotation. You're just gonna turn your head from one side to the other, but you're gonna help yourself along here. So the first thing is just turn your head to the right. Use your hands to give yourself a little bit of a push. And do the same thing on the opposite side. You're gonna hold that position for five to 10 seconds and repeat that 10 times. Now, one thing that I do want you to think about, definitely make sure that you're not pushing so hard that you're trying to make things pop or anything like that. The more of that you do, the more instability you can get in the neck. You don't want to just indiscriminately do those kinds of things to your spine. It'll make a huge difference, negative difference in how and how things are, are feeling and functioning. So we just gotta be real careful with that. The next exercise is the levator scapula stretch. And what that is, is there's a muscle in between uh, the shoulder blade that connects the shoulder blade up into the neck. Real important muscle, a source of a lot of the pain that we have. And so the way we're gonna work that exercise is you're gonna turn your head um, to one side, just about halfway, and then you're gonna bring your head down and pull almost like you're looking at the opposite leg. So look down to one leg and give yourself a pull. Hold that position for five to 10 seconds. Do that 10 times each side. So there we go. We've got just a couple of really simple exercises that are going to make a difference in how you're feeling. They're going to relieve some of that pressure on the neck when you're sitting at your desk. That's what happens. We have a lot of stress and strain on the neck. Those muscles get fatigued and painful, and we want to relieve that. And these exercises are going to do it for you. Hey, I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins from Tompkins Family Chiropractic. If you do these exercises and it doesn't seem to help you, then you're probably going to want to get things looked at a bit closer. Um, when we have imbalances in the neck, like some kind of misalignment in the spine, arthritis, disc injuries, those kinds of things, then the typical kinds of stretches and exercises that you do probably aren't going to help you. And so you're going to need to look at that closer. Um, in our office, we do a very thorough evaluation. You can click the schedule link below to find out more about that. But for now, I think that's it. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you at the next video.